This is Paula Houston. Welcome back to our ongoing discussion of Lent here at Pepeos. Today, I'd like to talk about the concept of simplicity or simplification of life. This is something that's tremendously attractive to people in our day, and I think there's no surprise that it would be. Um, almost all of us are feeling overstressed, overworked, um, that we have very little time to reconnect with even our own selves, uh, much less have deep relationships with other people, and we're running so fast and working so hard all the time. So when we start thinking about simplifying our lives, um, it's easy to become overwhelmed right away when we look at the list of things we feel like we have to do. My first piece of advice then, and this is um, something that I've had to learn the hard way myself, is to begin simply. Uh, don't try to do everything at once. Look at your list of obligations and duties and set aside those at the very beginning that I would call obligations of love. These are the duties that come from being a, a wife, a mother, uh, in my case, the grandmother of six kids, the daughter of elderly parents. Uh, it's not that these relationships can't also be simplified, but it's much more difficult. So let's leave those aside and simply look at things that are entirely voluntary. Now, they may not feel voluntary. They may feel as though, you know, we, um, we have no choice in the matter. For example, accepting social invitations, all social invitations that come our way, no matter how tired we might be, um, sending out 360 cards at Christmas every year. Um, the list goes on and on. I, I would guarantee, though, as soon as we start looking at these lists of things we think we can't get out of, we begin to realize that we do have, indeed, a lot of control over our lives. Start there, and I guarantee you that soon you'll begin to feel um, a growing sense of peace. I will see you tomorrow as we move on with this discussion. Thank you very much for being here today.